How you going, Ding Dongs? Um, I got full disclosure. Uh, I have drank. I used to drink this uh, a lot. Um, it's actually one of the first scotches I've actually liked, um, which got me into scotches. Uh, I had one when I was like 25. Um, didn't fucking like it. I don't even remember what it was. Uh, but I thought it tasted horrible. But since I started getting into whiskeys more in my 30s, um, I was like, man, fuck it. Everyone says Glen Levitt's good. Um, I picked it up. This is not the first Glen Levitt I ever tried. I think that. I think it's Glen Levitt 10 is the first one I tried, or it's a 12. I forget. Anyways. This Glen Levitt Founders Reserve is actually pretty fucking good. Um, I got a Jack Daniels fan that I go, man, have you ever drank scotch before? And he's like, man, I don't fuck that is. Whiskey's a whiskey. I'm like, ha No, it's not. And actually, that person is Toby. And I go, here, try this. And he goes, man, it's pretty good whiskey. I'm like, yep. It's different. It's fucking... It's a single malt. It's not fucking sour mash, motherfucker. Uh, and I've also got him and uh, you know COVID spreading dust and um, trying new whiskeys, man. Bourbon, sour. Obviously, they like sour mash. Well, Toby likes sour mashes because he's a huge Jack Daniels fan. Um, but uh, with bourbons, weeded, rye. A whole bunch of shit. So, <clears throat> uh, actually, Dustin, I had him try, I think it was a 12. The 12 is a rosé barrel. I think it's a rosé barrel. Or it's uh, it's definitely a fucking wine barrel. They put it in, and he didn't like that. It, it's not my favorite. I'll drink it, but um, uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm not a huge fan, unless it's like Angel's Envy, um, of whiskeys in, like, port or wine barrels. Um fucking hangovers are massive anyways uh so me and a friend were discussing something the other day and it makes perfect sense the man never has to share his peas but she always has to share her peas and it's bullshit quality people so glenn levitt let's get some magic going hey hey Oh, ha. Magic. Is there magic? No magic. Just it coming out. So. that This is actually one I actually like to drink with ice. Um, it's good. Uh, offer on ice. Uh, as far as mixing it, I'm not real fucking sure. I don't, uh... I've never even thought about mixing a scotch. You know what I mean? Now, there are, like, uh, there's a Glen Levitt that's made in some Cari Caribbean rum uh, barrels uh, that they actually recommend, like, making, like, uh, Caribbean cocktails with. I'll have to try that out sometime. Here's the thing, is I'm talking right now, and I'm already getting the the, the smell of the whiskey. A scotch. A scotch. Whiskey. Um... It's so good. You get a, a like. There's a, like a floral smell to it. Um, <clears throat> I haven't had this in two years. I haven't had any Glen Levitt in about two years because I've been doing uh, these reviews. Oh god, I started about a year ago. I don't even. You know, fuck. I don't even think I've been doing this a year. Who knows? Fuck it. I try to do these once a week. I know I don't always do that. Um, but yeah, let's see if my palate's gotten a little bit better. Mmm, that's nice. That's super nice. Um, some hard vanilla in this. Um, not a lot of spice. Um, you can definitely taste a bit of the, uh, the barrel that it's put in because this isn't done um yeah that's what i thought this is uh god damn it this is this is a f uh a first fill 
oak cask, American oak cask. So basically what that means, if you don't know, um, that only one, basically one batch had been in the barrel before this went in. Um, I believe that's true. It's either, it's either only one, there's only been one round of, of whiskey in the barrel and then something else to put in, or it's the very first thing that goes in. It's one of the two. I am I know I'm getting this. Hopefully I'm not getting it wrong. Anyways, if I'm wrong, fucking tell me in the comments. Fucking, just fucking have it out. But, yeah, guys, I, you know, man, I'm going to go back to the thing I said. Like, there needs to be some equality, and the guys need to start sharing their peas with everyone instead of the women sharing their peas. Um, that's just bullshit. I can't, I can't stand for this. Uh, me and Zombie Toby are, are going to stand our ground. And we're going to start sharing our peas so the women, they don't have to share her peas. But this is... We're about a week out from Christmas. Everyone have a Merry Christmas. Um, by the way, I love this. So, if you're not a scotch drinker, uh, pick, pick up the Glenlivet 10. I think it's a 10. Um, not the one in, like, the rosé barrel. Uh, it's, like, a reddish, purplish label. Um, I don't think it's a blue label. So, um, pick it up, try it. Or even the Founder Edition. Pick up the fucking, the, yeah, the Founder's Reserve is a good start for scotch. At least in, like, Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker is very smoky. Um, this isn't too smoky. It's, um, it's very nice. And, uh, yeah, I fucking love it. Uh, I will be putting ice in this, more than likely. So, check it out. It's fucking awesome. It's a great shower scotch. Uh, yes, have a Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, um, whatever. I, I'm sorry, I don't remember everyone's, uh, what people celebrate this time of year. Um, you know, obviously, like, I celebrate Christmas. I have a lot of customers that celebrate Hanukkah. Um, and then there's Kwanzaa and, uh, other things. So, I just wish you... A happy whatever you're doing. I'm not going to do the generic bullshit of happy holidays. I think that's wrong. Oh, by the way, I don't remember the comedian, but he 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 said this years ago, and I will always stand by this. And I do this with my customers. Um, if you if a Jewish person wished me a happy Hanukkah, I would not get mad at them. I would say thank you. I don't celebrate Hanukkah. I'm not Jewish, but. They're wishing me good tides and a happy time and a merry... Basically, they're saying Merry Christmas to you, to me. If you're not Christian or Catholic and someone wishes you a Merry Christmas and you don't celebrate it, just say thank you because they're meaning well to you. Um, people don't understand this. Everyone's fucking this cancel culture and just angry and... Eh, eh, eh. Listen, people care more. Not everyone's out to offend you. Some people are just trying to be nice and they're wishing you well. So, uh, it's it's funny because, like, with what I do in the service industry, especially this time of year, you'd be amazed at how much people treat us like shit, let alone we're still going through a pandemic. So, this has just reminded me even more and more and more that we need to stop being assholes and look, stop looking for the bad and start looking for the good. So, if you guys have liked this, please... Please hit the thumbs up here on YouTube. Subscribe. These are huge things that will help me, and I would appreciate it. Um, and if you do like it, share it out. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or whatever you celebrate. Bye.